Hey everyone, this is Ali Reza. Today we're gonna have an introduction to using React Native Testing Library. One of the concerns with the React Native project is using a suitable tool for testing components. By default, a Greenfield React Native project has already been set up with the JS, the JavaScript testing framework and runner. But we need additional tools to test our components easier and better. So we can use tools such as the React Native Testing Library, which works with the JS, and it helps you test your components the way the end user might use your app. So it will give you more confidence in the output of your test. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we can test the app that I have prepared with the testing library. I will also put the source code on my GitHub account so you can reach it later. So here is the project. There is a text input. You type in something and press the add button and the item is added just like that. There is also a delete button where you can use it for deleting your items. I have defined the test ID for some components, but intentionally I haven't for the others so we can reach them in a different way. So my main focus is more on using the library rather than the best practices. So for the first step, we're gonna add the React Native Testing Library and the Just Native to our projects. Remember, the Just Native is totally optional, but it can help us with the more Just matchers to test if a component has a props or if it's enabled or not. It's a good thing. I recommend having it in your project. So now we go to our package.json file and add the required configurations. These two configurations are more related to the libraries you are using. For example, I'm using the React Native navigation in this project and it's using the React Native gesture handler. So I have to add these two configurations. You may need a different things to add for these setups. And there is another setup for the just native to extend what we are gonna expect. So now what we're gonna do is adding a test file for our home component, just like that. So now we try to test our component just like this. Let's say render home component properly the first things we'll do is render our home component it will help us to get what we need in the next step to have a better understanding what we'll have as an output i will first test the debug from the render to see how it will Work. So we use the debug here and let's see how it will work. And here we run our test yarn run test watch. Okay, great. As you can see, here is our add button and we have added the test ID for some components you can navigate through your components just like that and have a better understanding on how your component is working at the moment so what we're gonna do is simulate what we do in a real like typing something here pressing the add button and the item is added so what we'll do is first reaching the required components here we'll do it by two methods like the get by text id and then another one is get by text first we'll use the get by test id to get our components from the input so what we'll do is input. now we get our button by using the get by text the add just like that so the next things we're gonna do is typing something here and pressing the add button so we'll use the fire event that change text and we pass in the input 
and let's say it will we will call it the item next we're gonna press the add button by using the press fire event and yeah that's it so what we're gonna expect now is the item is added so we'll try to get the item first so we'll say the item get by text exactly the same thing that we wrote for the text input now we expect our item to be defined let's check yeah everything works great let's repeat this step again for another item so we use it for our future test so we type in a new item and we try to get it and we want to see if it's defined yeah let's see if the test is working yeah the tests are passed so now we're gonna test our delete button here i have intentionally added a unique test input for test id for the whole items so we can reach them with another approach we could add for each item one id but i have defined a single test id i will show you the example so what we're gonna do we want to get to our delete buttons using a method here get all by test id and we use the cell delete just like that so what we're gonna do is like let's say we're gonna press this delete button and we expect the items to be deleted so again we we'll use the press and use the delete buttons and we want the first item not the second one to be affected so what we might expect is something like this expect get by text that the item not to be defined we may expect something like this to happen and let's see what's the result okay it's a no instances found it's through error for us the reason for it is the how the get by text works really it tries to find what we are asking and if it can find it it will throw error for us and our test will break so what we will need here to use is something else which is the query by text it almost the same as the get by text id with one difference if it cannot find the items it will return null so what we'll expect here is to be null and let's see how it will go right the tests are passed great so we're gonna do something else and let's see if the list item it still has the other item that we have added so what we're gonna do we try to reach to our list by get by test id list and now we're gonna test one of the features of the js native we're gonna be sure that it has a content that we want so we'll write the expect list to contain element and what we want to be contained is the item one yeah let's see how the result will go great all the tests are passed so that's it for today this video is supposed to show the setup and a simple example for the react native testing library However, in a real-world application, there will be more complex situations 
that we need to discuss later. So be sure to subscribe to the awesome future videos. Thank you for watching this video.